Parapole Pro 2 series install on a, what is this, an Accelerate? Transport. Transport Accelerate. So you can see, nice clean install. Brand new out of the box. Mounted to the transom here. Of course they've taken 5200 to all the holes here so that you don't have any water intrusion. Gary, you wanna show me what, how you did this? Yeah, right, we pump. didn't have much room here. So I was able to wiggle this pump down in here and mount the bracket and put a piece of bilge pump hose right here so it doesn't rub on the hydraulic lines for the jack plate pump. But it fit pretty tight and everything wired directly into the battery switch in the ground over here. Very good. And I tried to keep from drilling too many holes through the transom. If you look on the back, normally oh, we would use these little through hole fittings exactly that go over the tubes yes and come through the back of the transom but if you can do it without drilling holes through the transom come back here and take All a right. look normally you would drill two holes right here yes. but i routed the hoses up here and through the top very good and down in here and i'm about to cut the lines and hook up the pump and Make this thing work. Very good, very clean installation. And once again, at Evans Marine, Baycliffe, Texas, with the purchase of a power pole from us, you get the free installation, and you also get, this month he's got the special going with a free uh, travel boot, which will, let me raise this up. You wanna hold that for a second, Gary? Your travel boot, what is a zippered black boot that goes over the power pole itself to protect it from any uh, damage from say flying rocks or yeah, you know or that kind of a thing happen if you had a hydraulic line bust mm -hmm. your power pole wouldn't fly down while you're traveling down the road and bust the fiberglass exactly off of there it would hold everything in place and keep it tight exactly one thing i'd like to point out from past experience that what you might want to do uh, periodically not all the time but as you use your power pole you're going to have wear on this fiberglass rod you don't want to come up and touch the thing you're going to get fiberglass in your hand oh, yeah. consequently what you would want to do or what i would suggest is take some clear uh paint uh lacquer it doesn't matter spray paint clear spray paint and you, you sand it down with some fiberglass uh, some uh, light sandpaper every so often put a coated dead gum paint on this thing so if, you know your kids are running around the wife girlfriend significant other or your fishing partner that might have had a few they're going to come up and grab this joker they'll have fiberglass in their hand you don't want that to happen it, it hurts it does hurt it's hard to get out you want to get it out pair your wife's pantyhose it'll suck that stuff right out at any rate evans marine 281-559-2628 we're located at 4340 19th street in beautiful baycliffe texas right off of 146 behind the pawn shop come by and see us power pole like this uh give us a call 281-559-2628 we'll get you hooked up you give me about 15 minutes let me hook this thing up we'll show you how it works very here, good. here we are with the uh the rest of the um power pole demonstration at evans marine 281-559-2628 we're located at 4340 19th street in baycliff texas gary how does how's this power pole work uh we're doing pretty good man we finished up with the installation very good uh, and the uh power pole works great i ran it up and down it also it comes with a uh a little lanyard remote that you can hang around your neck or put in your pocket or Very whatever. Good. It also comes with a dash mount remote with a either a sticky pad or two screws. You can stick it down, put it pretty much wherever you want. And very good. And what we do at Evans Marine, we'll leave this dash mount in the package that we provide the customer and the customer can either request us to install that for them where they choose or we leave it in the bag for the customer to install using the sticky tape or you can also sticky tape and attach it with the two screws that are provided in they the package put, it wherever, they put want. it wherever you want that's right you want to show me how this power pole works yep here we go there's down once it goes down And it does have, uh, it's, it's pressure sensitive. So once it goes down and, and hits the bottom, it's gonna, the motor stops automatically, correct? Yes. Very good, very good. You wanna take it up? Let's see how fast it retracts. Very good. And it's all automatic. 
You got your comes with your quick start tips that uh, explains to you how to the the operation of the remote, the dash operation, and congratulates you for purchasing a power pole from Evans Marine. Two eight one five five nine two six two three. Thank you. All right, let, Matt. Let's see what you did. Y'all also installed the Minn Kota Riptide. This is a one thirteen Riptide uh, iPilot, correct? Yes, that's right. All right, and this one they did. The customer requested the quick disconnect mount on here. So you, you can unplug it right here from the uh, deck mounted plug, which is which has a watertight seal. And one thing I will show you on these, I think I mentioned it on the other uh, video we made, that you don't necessarily need the quick mount on this or with the Minn Kota Riptide um, iPilot. 112 pounds of thrust. The earlier models were 101. They bumped it up at uh, no additional charge. However, one thing... 36 volt. 36 volt system. What you do to operate this, you push in on this, you pull it down. You'll see the system ready light come on. Um, when it's down, you also you can check your batteries right here. You push the button, and that's it. This plug right here is for uh, the the. Uh, it's additional for you for an additional foot control pedal. But um, I'll tell you what, I, I really love this darn thing. It's not gonna come on because you don't have it deployed. There we go. All right. There you go. That's it. Let me see that remote. I'll show them a little thing real quick. Yeah, hold on to that and I'll deploy it for a second and let what you do your, see something. Yeah. We let this down. Let it down while it's operating. I'll turn the motor off real quick. All right, what you do with this, it's a really great feature with this, and I've got one on my 22-foot Skeeter, and it's the best best thing I ever uh, purchased for it. You, uh, you got it locked in? Yep. All right, what you do, you, you use this remote, and it turns the trolling motor. The good thing about this, the really the nice thing about it, is that you can be in the back of the boat. Let me walk away from this real quick. And you can operate your trolling motor from anywhere on the vessel. You also have the feature, you got autopilot. One thing that really I find uh, really amazing with these, you've got the anchor button right here. What this enables you to do, instead of having to drop your power pole or drop your anchor while you're fishing, you want to hit a spot, a little reef out in East Bay, um, the Hannah's, wherever, you hit this anchor button, this trolling motor will keep you uh, positioned within three to five feet of the spot where you hit this thing. There's GPS receivers in here. It's going to keep you locked in because it utilizes as many satellites as up to like seven, eight satellites at once. It'll keep you locked in that same spot. Um, yeah, if you have a lot of heavy wind, or heavy wind, winds, currents, it doesn't matter. I've used uh, I've used my uh, my iPilot at the concrete ship in Galveston with tide just ripping in, couldn't get an anchor to stick. This is my 22 foot skeeter, and what we did: drop the trolling motor, hit the anchor button right here, as I show, and it locked the darn thing. Didn't move. I had people come up to me. Where's your anchor? I don't have one. I've got the Minn Kota Riptide with the iPilot feature, and it will keep you locked. At any rate, that's a demonstration. We did this installation on a 2280 Accelerate from Transport, and um, we added the iPilot, added the power pole. Customer's going to pick it up, ready to go fishing. Anyway, y'all give us a call, 281-559-BOAT, 281-559-2628 in beautiful Baycliff, Texas, 4340 19th Street. We'll see you. Awesome. <laughs>